Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your drive shafts off a four-wheel drive Dodge Ram. And if you have a split drive shaft like me, we'll have to take that hanger down too. If you don't, uh, a little less steps, I guess. Okay, so I got the clips off. So since I have a split drive shaft, I'm gonna take, you can see that there's four bolts on top on this bracket here. We'll take those off, it'll be easier than taking the ones inside this tubing, this channel or whatever, it'll be a lot easier to take these ones off. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next. I need to wear safety glasses when you're doing this. There's a lot of dirt that's falling right now. Woo! Yeah, make sure you, when you get that, you put a nut right there so the whole freaking thing don't fall on you. Okay, and we'll just pull it right out of the transfer case just like so. All right, so we're gonna move on to the front drive shaft now. Uh, same idea as the rear drive shaft with the four, the four uh, bolts here and then the, the two retainers. So we'll start by taking those out. And it's a good idea to put your transfer case into four low just so your drive shaft doesn't turn on you when you're trying to loosen, it, loosen up these bolts here. In this case, uh, the size of mine were three eighths. The rear were five sixteenths. I don't know why that is, but it is. So now we're going to take the bolts off the back of the front drive shaft that's actually going into the transfer case. I'm going to loosen these two bottom bolts up right now and take them out and then I'm going to go ahead and put the transfer case into neutral just so I can spin the drive shaft and get the top bolts so that they're on the bottom which will make it easier for you to get. And to get these bolts off I'm going to use a stubby 5 ace. It's actually a 16 but I didn't have a stubby 16 so this will have to do. Oh, that's really on there. Yeah, this 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 is really on here. I might have to add some heat. I just can't seem to get it. Oh my god. Oh, oh. I can't get it for you. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Are you gonna help? I asked for a three quarters, not a five ace. Stay focused. All right, guys, I ain't asking anymore. Oh, my God. Oh. I have never seen a bolt that freaking stuck a drive shaft before. Unreal. Yeah, I got a little bit of a bloody knuckle off of that one. I couldn't believe how freaking tight that was in there. I held a torch to it for like a solid minute. I mean, you can just feel the heat coming off it right now. I have never struggled that hard with a freaking bolt on a freaking drive shaft before. Unreal. That's some good entertainment though. Ha 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 ha. The wrench got hot, it's too short. Oh. I hope the other bolts aren't like that, for Christ's sake. Okay guys, I gotta spin the drive shaft here to get that the bolt where that one is. Um, I hope they're not all that tight, because otherwise I'm gonna be adding heat to all of them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spin that drive shaft so I can 
get access to the other bullets. I'm, I'm not gonna touch that one yet. It's very hot still. Oh my God, this is, oh, this gives me anxiety. My knuckles, my knuckles are gonna be broken after this. Oh, I got fucking blood on the, I got some blood on the knuckle there. Oh man, I should probably wear some padded gloves. That'd probably be a good idea. But I'm gonna go ahead and take all these off off camera. I think you guys kind of get the idea. They can be a son of a bitch if someone put them on very tight or if they haven't been taken off in a long time, just add heat to them, you will get them. Uh, your knuckles, in other words, might be a little sore afterwards, but I'll go ahead and take this off here and we'll uh, get moving on with the video. So I got all my bolts out. I just gotta give her a couple taps just to break it loose. It probably hasn't been off in a while. Just got a rubber mallet here. Just like that. And that's pretty much the process to remove your drive shafts. Um, pretty simple, but sometimes those bolts can be pretty tricky. So I hope this video helps some of you guys out there. And make sure to subscribe for more videos.